Back for another one, as you can tell by the title. We're going to the drag strip today. You can see the baby seat. I got baby Rylan with me. Kaylin, you probably can't see her. She's back there in her M3. This will be her first time racing at the drag strip. You know, what's pretty cool about us, we actually met for the first time ever, Never I think in 28, no, 2016, we met at the drag strip in Alien City, uh, Roswell, 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 New Mexico. That's where we met, so. Uh, but we've been to the drag strip together you know, hundreds of times. I guess the, our real first date after we had met there was at the Amarillo drag strip. Uh, anyway, so today will be her first time racing, getting up on the lights and all that. We are headed down to North Carolina. I think it's called Northeast Dragway. They're having an import test and tune day. So we are on our way down to uh, Chesapeake, Virginia right now to meet up with a buddy uh, that I met at the MQB meetup last month. He's got a TTE, I think 700 or 770 in his RS3. And he also has an S3, but there's another guy meeting us there. I'm not sure what he drives. I think he, he's in an Audi as well. So it'll be the four of us mobbing down to North Carolina, um, do some testing to him. So hopefully we can get some in-car video with the uh, RS3, definitely get some video with her and uh, walk her through, um, you know, getting up to the bulbs and, and how to do what she's, you know, we, we, we don't even have cable, so all we do is watch YouTube. We watch, you know, 1320 and Playtis and, and, you know, all the channels that are relevant. So she's seen drag racing, knows what to do. She just got to go there and implement it and try it out for herself. So, I mean, her car isn't anything crazy fast. It's a SMG E46 M3. It's got a tune. It's got headers. It's got coilovers and a couple other little suspension bits, wheels, tires. She's on slicks. So she shouldn't really spin. The, the biggest thing is, is her transmission. It does have a launch mode. Those transmissions are known to fucking just let let out completely. And the car has, I think, 160,000 miles on it. And uh, we did the subframe fix. Uh, we redid the Vanos. It still needs like new bushings in the camber arms in the rear, and like oh, it needs a whole bunch of stuff. But we've been kind of focusing on the truck to make that super reliable. Uh, that way. We, once that thing's 100%, we can go back to focusing on her M3, and of course we just had a baby, so you know it's a slow build. But I don't know which exit I'm supposed to stay on here. Anyway, I go with you guys once we meet up with the dudes at Chick Fil A. What I really like. Is I can get up into the Shell app, pay on my phone with Apple Pay, which is really nice. Oh, there we go. And then I save a little bit of cash. Oh, this video is upside down. It's four seven nine here, so it should take off like five cents. Boom! Start fueling. It's nice. You know, 50 bucks for 10 gallons. Of course, we gotta show that off. Cars a little dirty, a little clean. You guys probably can't tell on camera. This thing, gorgeous. Needs a paint job and some suspension, but it's beautiful. So chic. You gonna be on camera today? Oh, well, you gotta be. So, give <laughs> me bad boys. Sheesh. On. This so, is his car. He said e EQT, XL, MPI. This is clean, dude. I like it. No. This thing, oh, we got the. Is it the McCann brakes? Yeah, McCann brakes. The McCann. Nice. This thing's clean. We got the old lady here who refuses to get out the car. You got me. You got Jesse's RS3. This thing is clean as hell. Right on. Sheesh! Oh, that corn smells good too. That's a XL 
E85 with sensors on an A3. I think I cannot wait. I hope they're making bets here. I pulled out some extra cash. So that RS3, I believe, is on a TTE 700 or 770, and this is a EQT XL uh, E85 with sensors, all that. So I mean, it's just, I mean, it's an A3. It doesn't look too crazy by any means. So hopefully we can uh, line him up with some people and, and win some money. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on okay he's turning around now we're on a just dirt road right now and she's on slicks so now we're turning around i don't know where his gps was taking us but it uh definitely wasn't the proper way definitely glad i didn't put real effort into cleaning the cars yesterday <laughs> well this will be a trip to remember oh yeah we are in the freaking boonies. And this is the drag strip. I don't know if we'll ever come back here again. Uh, it'll definitely be an interesting day. Oh boy. Because I'm going to get their uh, full frame kit, the, the 850. Yeah. But now I'm kind of nervous. We're all here, safe and sound. This is the Stage 2 EQT car, TTE 700 car, XL MPI sensor E85 car. He said I could uh, <laughs> take her for a spin. Oh boy. This is interesting. <laughs> he needs the trans to warm up when he's about to line up. So I get to take a little spin in this thing. Man, I dig it. Maybe I should have got one of these instead. <laughs> oh man, you can definitely feel the difference in the trans, the DQ 500 versus the 381. It's interesting. I like this. Oh man, she got some good turbo whistle to her. Man. I like these. These seats are a little, a little more holding than mine too. I dig that. Definitely gonna have to have him take me on a lunch in this thing. I need, go, I need to ask up here if uh, we can have passengers. All right, the boys are finally lining up. So my dumbass forgot to bring helmets. So we're gonna use theirs when they're done running. Wow, uh, there's like, I'd say it's. 80% Honda, and we got like four or five Volkswagens, and a couple like uh, like LS style V8 cars. This is a lot of Hondas, a lot. This will be a very interesting day. Hopefully the imports uh, all win, but of course I'm rooting for my boys here. Out to the road, got the car warmed up. Gonna do our first run with the A3. Let's do it. She's getting in line. I had my first pass. I didn't have launch control on properly, but I had my best pass so far, 1860, 82 at 85. I think before this, my best was like 87 or something. So I'm really happy about that. She's in line. This place is chaotic. It's like ghetto chaotic. Like even just trying to like get in to line up is like wild. You guys will see the amount of people. I don't know how many clips she got on the camera. But, uh, it's definitely cool. 
Huh? Oh, really? I hope not. She's on slicks. That'd be a bad ride home. We got a little one here all tied up to me. You nervous? Be wherever you want. All right, boys, we swap cameras here. That way we can zoom. I think she's gonna go up against the truck. This is the cleanest freaking Honda here, I think. That thing is gorgeous. I don't even know what this thing is. We got this BMW back here. I think he's trying to warm up or something. First pro 5 -0 I've seen today. Alright, here we go. Kaylin's first time. There's the box in the back. Got down clean, Clem. Way up here. Here we go. I warmed up the whole way so she can't rev all the way out. There you go. There you go, girl. There you go. That's mommy's first first pass. Right there for Kaylin's first pass. What do you think? Yeah. Hey, you made it. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Right on. That's awesome. I am just so proud of Kaylin. Her first pass. She didn't bog it. She hit it hard and she won. And we were both right there to see it. I am so happy. Let's go talk to the winner. My winner! How does it feel? It's a truck. You beat a truck! Hey, that's so good! Check this out, guys. Mind you, her car maybe makes 350. Not even. This thing will focus. The 2 160, 8 9, and 81. And she won. I mean, not bad at all. I mean, this is an SMG car. So it does. I mean, you have to shift it. But it's not, it's not an automatic. Like it's the same clutch as a six speed M3. Just the SMG part is just hydraulically doing the clutch for you. You just have to tell it when. Anyways, and she didn't use launch control. Cause launch control with the SMG is known to like make it fail. And we have like an hour drive home. So no launch control, just foot braking, two one. I mean, I only do, I trap 85 mile an hour. So like, that's pretty crazy. I guess we do make around the same power, but I got DSG and all-wheel drive. But I'm impressed, super impressed. All right, guys, I'm going up for my second and last pass of the day. Today was just kind of like a big test. It is test and tune. It, it tests in more than one way because we have the baby here and we're both racing. So it was really one of those days of trying to figure out how our dynamic is going to work, and it worked out really well. The baby hasn't complained at all. She's ate. She slept. Um, it's really windy today, like super windy if you guys couldn't tell. And it's uh, a static 57 with the wind chill. It's probably in the lower 50s, but we've been having a great day. Um, only a couple cars broke down so far. Kaylin won her race, which is just great. It kind of sucks, like I said, that it's a pro tree and not a regular tree because I wanted her to learn the regular tree to go on that last light and uh, see how her car reacts. But the one run she did get to do was great. Um, I forgot our helmets like dummies. I didn't think this track cared, but I don't know what I was thinking. Like you always gotta have a helmet. So I'm done with my part, but luckily the guys we came with are letting us use our helmets. So I'm about to get up, do one more run. I'll get an in-car um, footage of that, even though I know it won't be all that exciting. But um, on my last race, I didn't have the breakdown the whole way to engage launch control because I'm a dumbass. So um, yeah, let's get up there and give her another run.
right, boys. We got ourselves a Tesla to get gapped by. I'd rather get gapped by a Tesla than a Honda. So it'll be a good last race of the day. Double bulb. things today I didn't realize that uh, you couldn't get off launch control and get back on you had to like wait that kind of was not good oh well started sprinkling we're about 10 minutes out from the house shout out to it's not stop love those guys she's on slicks so we got lucky we're almost home and it's starting to sprinkle that was like my biggest fear all day it looked like it was gonna rain excuse me it was gonna rain like 12 different times and uh yeah I'm glad we left when we did because if the rain keeps up that would be a very terrifying ride home I, I would actually probably drive her car so she could drive this slicks and uh and rain don't mix well <laughs> when i get home i'll show you guys my slips and we'll, we'll end up this video all right guys we're back home oh boy this is set to super wide i'll show you guys these real quick it'll even show up decent so we got 82 at 85 824 at 85 821 at 85 and then 817 at 84 look at that 60 foot 1.7061 best run of the day and my last run of the day makes me very happy um and that's just and and that was after hot lapping so i mean my i know my intercooler had to have been heat soaked and once we get that dbo 88 intercooler on in this thing we'll go back out and we'll have all the verkline stuff in the rear as well I mean, all we have for power is an, uh, an intake and an inlet, and then, uh, you know, a bunch of suspension mods. Uh, the vertical line trailing arms being probably the number one factor um, for getting that good of a launch. So, anyone tells you that those arms don't work, they're lying to you. Anyway, I think that's all I got. It was a great day. Had a ton of fun. Baby was great. Caitlin was great. 
Uh, made some new friends today as well. Had a pretty good time. That place is a little ghetto, but ghetto fun. It was, it was a good time. So hopefully the next time we go to the drag ship, we'll be up at Virginia Motorsports Park, and that'll be the full quarter mile. And uh, yeah, look out for the next one. This next video should be the steering wheel coming in. So it's, it's shipped, it's on its way, super excited. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the flip flop. Alright boys, we've got two turbo Hondas. Will either one make it down the track? That is the question. Something flew off. This guy right here. Reminds me of Don Vito. We got the homie with the XL. What just happened? There right, we go. In the dust. And he missed the gear. Easy win. It's got a trip.